like a baby in a cone. I put the water in the ocean in the city that I'm from. Welcome back to Wine Now Books. It's your girl Kay. What's goody, everybody? Happy February. Happy Black History Month. Shout out to all my black king and queens. You know, we have to celebrate this month, but Black History Month is every month. You already know the vibes. Anyways, as you can see by the title, we are reviewing All the Lonely People. I'm going to just start off by saying this was a five star read. A five-star read, hands down. I appreciated this book so much. Um, so I'm gonna just give you guys a little background. This one I'm not gonna spoil. Like it's a it's a sad book, but it's all it, it makes you go through emotion. Like you feel so much emotion in the book, not just sadness. Um, I felt joy, but I was real sad at the end of the book. Real, 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 real sad. I'm not gonna tell you why. But anyways, so background. We meet Hubert. Humor, hu <laughs> humor, Hubert immigrated from Jamaica overseas, right, to the UK. And you know how it is, especially during the time, because back then, what's the time frame? Hold on, I'm going to tell you right now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 1957. So from 1957 ongoing, so that's a long time, back in the day. So, you know, he immigrated to experience a better life. And, um, you know, it was hard for him. It was a transition coming from Jamaica, the warmth, the hot, all his family and friends is over there immigrating to another country where it's cold. You don't really know anybody. And you only have one friend named Gus. So his friend Gus was already over overseas. Um, and then he met, he went to meet Gus overseas and they was working together, living together, but Gus didn't really tell Hubert like all that he was experiencing from leaving Jamaica and then coming there. It was like a, it's a different world and you, you just work and work and work and work and work it and barely working for anything. And on top of working, they experiencing racism. So you already know what type of time it is. I don't even have to get into the racism, right? But we already know what they was experiencing. So, it's a whole new eye-opener for Hubert. Hubert never experienced this kind of treatment in Jamaica. He started missing home, but he he would write home to his mom. And, you know, he would send money back. But he didn't want his mom to know that he was really struggling with what he was dealing with. And I commend Hubert because Hubert was a good guy. Hubert had integrity. He had morals. He held, The way he carried himself is something to commend in a man. And it's hard to find that right now. You know, Hubert was an upstanding guy. Right? So, anyways, he started working in this department store. And he meets his uh, crush turned into his wife, Joyce. Right? So, Joyce is a Jewish white woman. So, you already know what type of time it was for a black man during those times. To date a white woman right but at the same time you know they was she was really loving him he was really loving her so i'm like okay i'm not gonna lie though i had to ask my other book mates like was joyce like black or was she white because i'm like i'm a little confused there but then it was like nah she a white woman i'm like oh okay 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 <sighs> yeah so anyway they fall in love they doing the do and she ends up getting pregnant. So she goes home to tell her family, mind you, they've been hiding their relationship because from they've been hiding the relationship from, from the family and they've been having a relationship from the job because it's not it's out of the norm to see a black man and a white woman dating together, especially in you know what type of time it was, anyways. So she gets pregnant, her family disowns her, and he's like, Yo, we're gonna make it work. I'm a I'ma work extra hard, like we're gonna make it work. We having a family. Like he was all excited, like man, Hubert was ready to die for this woman. Like he was gonna bat for this woman. He even went to pull up to the, the family's house, right, on their wedding day, right? To be like, Yo, your daughter loves you, like come support. And if I was Hubert, I wasn't pulling them nowhere at the family. But he loved that woman. He was gonna do it whatever he could for that woman. He knew that his wife wanted her family there but they didn't come and he was just like you know it's just gonna be me and you we're gonna make our own family so they had two kids right 
Uh, they have Rose. I, I can never remember the... David. David is the son. Rose and David, right? So, you know, they, they family built together. They love David. You know, he was the younger child. Rose was like stellar young woman. Very smart, very ambitious, very outgoing, protecting her brother, um, caring for her brother. Like, she was really, really smart, making the family proud. Where David, he was going through some um, behavioral problems. He couldn't excel in school. Like, I feel like he felt inferior to his sister Rose because, you know, he couldn't make good grades at school. He couldn't bring something home to make his, his parents happy. But his parents still loved him the same. But it was just like, you know, sometimes he'll mess up and... You know, he just felt like he couldn't do anything right. So David ends up, you know, growing up to have a drug abuse problem. And, you know, he, he becomes homeless. And, you know, the family, they helped him, they helped him, they helped him, they helped him. All oh, spent money, rehab, everything. But, unfortunately, you know, again, during those times, resources is limited as well. But, unfortunately, you cannot help someone who is not ready to get help or who does not want to help. You know, that you got to be willing to put in the work. And, you know, I feel like David knew that his his family loved him, but he just wasn't ready or he just, he, he may have been scared to face who who he had become without the drugs because that's a scary thing. Like, I've never been a drug addict, so I don't really know how those emotions, but being a social worker, I'm around this. So it's like, you know, people don't know who they are outside of the drugs. It's not for everybody, but that's how... Some people may feel so it's, it's scary, right? And um, you know, Rose on the other hand, she grows, she grows up, she goes to college, she goes away to um to accept a job, and you know, she she's she's living her life. I'm not gonna, I don't want to spoil this book, so I'm just leave that part there, right? But I will say, um, throughout the book, you know, unfortunately, Hubert's wife Joyce dies. Hubert is living alone in a house that him and his wife. But again, he at one point Hubert disowned David because David couldn't get it together, and you know he was just he was just tired of David, right? David um wasn't there when his mother died, um and Hubert had immense love for him, but it's just like as a I don't again I don't you know I'm not a parent, I don't know what it means to have children, so I can only imagine like as a parent to see your child suffering and you feel like you've done everything you can and you may feel like you feel as a parent, I don't know that anguish, that agony that the parent may feel. So I, I don't know, but I could just imagine Hubert's pain. But anyway, so Hubert is living alone. He doesn't, you know, he sticks his routine. He lives with a cat and him and the cat is just dumb. Like he's lonely. Like he doesn't talk to anybody. Um, throughout his life, he pushed everybody who meant something to him away after his wife died like his wife was his best friend like his lover his soulmate his everything so when she died it broke him it took a piece with him and i understand that like i want to one day maybe experience a love like that maybe not the dying part but i want to experience a love like that where i i love somebody that i you know do it all they've been they was together for mad long i don't even remember the amount of years but they were together for mad long they've been through so much you know and for her to just come and die like that, die, Joyce died because she had dementia, right? And she she uh, was diagnosed with dementia early on. She was young, so that really broke him to his core. But he but he held her down till her last breath. That is a man. That is a man. He was there. He was even trying to hide the illness from his daughter Rose to to shield her from that pain because he knew that Rose would take on their problems. He was holding it down. He was struggling. But he was doing it like that's love to that do his part. He meant every word that he said. Shout out to Hubert, man. So, anyways, this story was really sad. Like I was going through the emotions with it. Anyways, Hubert ends up one day getting a knock at his door by the neighbor named Ashley. So Ashley's a, a young Welch white girl. She has a daughter. And, you know, she just moved into town. She broke up with her boyfriend, boyfriend Ching with the woo. So she took her daughter and left. Shout out to Ashley. Anyway, she needed a babysitter. She was at her last desperate means. She knocked on Hubert's door. Hubert seen that she was in distress. She needed help. He offered to help her. He watched the daughter outside um, the little vet place where she was. Uh, Ashley was interviewing for a new job. He took her to the park. And he, that was like the, the happiest time he'd been in a while, especially he'd been around kids. He hasn't really been around nobody, right? So... He's 
it's like boom all right like i i like this next thing you know you know he he feel he don't he he feel like you know he didn't want to experience a bond with the baby and ashley and meet them because they weren't his age right so anyways he gets a call from his daughter rose rose is like yo dad i haven't been been home in a long time i'm coming home in a couple of weeks and he's like, damn, what am I gonna do? Cause he's been lying to Rose this whole time, telling Rose like he's he has friends, he goes out every day, he's happy, he's living his life, but he's not, he's lonely. He he didn't want to lie to Rose because he didn't want Rose to leave her job in Australia to come take care of him because he's not, you know, he's lying basically about his his life. He's ha he's lonely, he's sad, he's a broken man, and um, so he decides that you know. He needs to keep up with the lies, so and he wants to go out and find friends his age so that when Rose come, you know, it doesn't seem like he's lying. So, fast forward, you know, he goes out, he tries to, like, the senior center to try to make friends. It doesn't happen that way. And he just, he just feel like, you know, so many, so many time has passed, like, he doesn't know how to make friends, communicate with people. He tries to go look for all the people that he was friends with. Some of them either move, died, and his oldest friend, Gus, you know, is nowhere to be found at this time. So then, you know, as she comes back, keep knocking on the door, you know, introduce herself like, hey, like she's really trying. She really, I feel like she recognized what Hubert was going through and that Hubert needed a friend. You know, Hubert continues trying to shut her out, but you know, they end up, fast forward again, I don't want this video to be too long, but they end up becoming friends and they end up starting an initiative um, to help individuals who are like, like Hubert, um who's lonely come together to have a, a sense of community so that they are not rotting away in their home by themselves that they have someone to communicate have somewhere to go so they end up starting this initiative right hubert becomes the president of the initiative all the while you know he's still worried about rose coming and finding out you know that he was a liar he ends up getting friends he ends up meeting another woman I forgot the woman's name, but he ends up meeting another woman, and they, you know, they friends, and he's like, you know, he never thought that he could meet another woman and have, like, these emotional feelings that he had for Joyce, but of course the feelings are different, but he's like, damn, like, he likes this woman, but he's still loyal to Joyce, even in death, so he doesn't want to disrespect Joyce's memory by finding love again, so he put, he, he basically, you know, friends on her and she's she's with it she's like you know hubert got a good spirit he got a good soul he laughs he can make joke and i just, i'd rather just be his friend if i can't be anything else and i respect her as a woman because as a woman you know especially when us women we like a man or a woman or whatever you know and they friends on you that's hard rejection is hard but we gonna we gonna we gonna ride it out but rejection is hard so um yeah, so he he get he's getting friends, he's getting a sense of community, and Hubert's really funny. One thing I can say, like Hubert is really really funny. Like this book had jokes, like really really funny. He has a phenomenal personality. Like I wish he was my grandfather. Like that's how dope Hubert's character is. I love everything about Hubert's character, even when he was at his worst. I love Ashley's character. I love I loved a lot of people in this book, but Hubert. And actually, I really love their character, and I love Hubert's character development. Like, you, and I loved his background story, because the book goes from present to past, present to past, so you get a glimpse of Hubert's life and everything that happened to him, right? So, I, li I like how the author did that. I always love those transitions, right? To get, the, I need to get the background story. Hubert was a real one. And, um, yeah, so the initiative ends up taking going nationwide and you know hubert's going on tv he's doing interviews you know like people's really looking up to hubert and but hubert's dealing with his own internal feelings because no one knows that like what he's been through no one knows that he's lying and i'm I, again i'm not gonna spoil it for y'all because if i spoil it for y'all y'all not gonna want to read the book but just know the author hit us with a twist that i did not see coming I, I had to put the book down like, oh, Lord, what? I was like, Hubert, <laughs> Hubert, Hubert. I felt it, though, because you don't really think about, like, for me, one thing I can say, this book had me thinking about my life. It had me thinking about, like, the people that I have around me that I, I hold dear to me, and it had me think about, uh, God willing, as I as I 
you know, get continue to grow older, you know, will I end up like Hubert, you know? So it, it really had me thinking about life. It had me thinking about the people that I pass every day, the clients that I serve, like, a lot of these clients that I serve and the people that I pass, they don't have family. Like I hear all the, I don't have family, it's just me. Um, and it's like, that's a sad world to live in. Like to know that, you know, people have either left your life physically, the physical form or mentally. You don't have anyone, you're in this world, you're transitioning this world, you don't talk to no one, you're sheltered. Like, that's no way to live life. Like, it, I was, this book made me cry. Like, it really made me cry. It had me reflecting on my life. Shoot, it had me even wanting to find a soulmate. Now, let's, <laughs> let me stop. But uh, in all seriousness, it's just like, you know, it's just a reminder of how many people in this world, regardless if this is a book or not, it resonates to this world who is experiencing loneliness. I think about senior, senior citizens who, you know, they go to these community centers because they need a sense of community because they're either their children, family, or friends have, again, left them. They don't speak to them. And, you know, they have a hard time making friends as you get older. And it's, it's hard, you know, to, to leave this world lonely knowing that that's what your life has come to, you know, that you by yourself. If you believe in God, then obviously you're not by yourself. God is always with us. That's what I believe. Um, but essentially, you know, physically, like a physical person being with you and in your life, experiencing that life with them and ending that life with them, that's different than being by yourself. Like, it made me sad. Like, it really made me reflect on my life. I'm like, damn, like, all right, like, if I don't have no kids, if I don't get a soulmate, like, shoot, like, damn, like, <laughs> what's gonna happen to me? <laughs> I'm laughing, but I wasn't laughing when I was thinking about it. But I, it's something, it's really something to think about because we, a lot of, of us are lonely. Well, I'm not, I don't, I'm not lonely. But I'm saying a lot of people in this world at this present time is lonely and they're experiencing the same feelings that Hubert felt. And it, it's just, a, it's literally just a reminder about humanity and that, you know, we often overlook the senior citizen committee. We often overlook people out my age, younger, who we think like, have a, a a support system but don't and um it has me thinking about life differently to be honest with you like and it's sad like it it, it makes you sad like to have these thoughts is, is is really just sad so yeah this book made me cry it's definitely a five star read like the i loved everything about this book every single thing about this book except for the ending i did not like the ending i didn't think like the ending had to go that way but i understand why it ended the way that it did you know i'm not in support of the ending because it's like like why would you like why would you do that like <laughs> again i'm not going to spoil it but if you guys want me to spoil the ending i will come back drop another video and spoil the book for y'all y'all know i do not like spoiling books like that if i really really enjoyed it and i'm when i'm telling you this is was my first five star read of january like i loved everything about this book it just it just it just touched me and it's it's a be it's such a beautiful read such a beautiful read it's such a um it's real it's realism and um the author did his thing but Hubert I was just like Hubert but anyways guys if you read this book drop it in the comments again I don't want to spoil anything for you guys but if you want me to I will drop another video and I will spoil it for you guys but hands down. Um, that's the little background about it. I will say that, you know, if you are lonely or you experience the loneliness and you feel like you don't have a support system, like sometimes you just got to pick yourself up, just go out and randomly start talking to people. You feel me? It's a scare. It's a scary thing, especially if you have social anxiety disorder. Like it's not easy making friends as you get older. It's much harder because people that like things that you like interests that you like changes like sometimes you don't want to be bothered with people like you want you to be an extrovert now you're an introvert so it's just like you know it changes but i'll say if you can f try to find a community you know just try to find a community i know they got little apps and stuff where people can meet you know you just you just never know but if you are lonely your girl's giving you a big big hug right now for real for real I appreciate everyone who watched my videos, who support me, who comment on the videos. Like, I really, 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 really appreciate you guys. Um, 
But yeah, I want you guys to read this book. If it, if you don't like books that make you cry, then of course don't read the book. If you're not easy cry, then go ahead and read the book. But I really really love the book. This is this is it again right here. Beautifully written story, like hands down. Um, but I will say that the only thing about this book that I will say is that I wish David's life went in a different direction. Like, I wish the ending between David and Hubert, I could spoil that. Like, they didn't reconcile, um, Hubert wanted to, but they didn't. I wish that would have happened in the book, but unfortunately it didn't. But, you know, the book is fine the way it's written. Um, but yeah, uh, towards the end of the book, uh, Hubert was able to actually you know, meet up with Joyce's extended family member, her, like, long, 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 long niece, and he was able to bring that family back together. Even though Joyce wasn't alive to see it, you know, he was able to do that for her. So even in even in death with Joyce, Hubert still was trying to, you know, make her happy, and he did just that. He was an upstanding man, and I wish to only find a man half of what Hubert found. Uh, I mean, half of what Hubert was. For real, for real. Like, they don't make him like that no more. But anyways, I appreciate you guys. The next book review is going to, oh, damn. It's going to be this one. I finished the book, so I'm going to make the video. Today is February 3rd, so I'm going to make this book review uh, February 4th, and I'll drop this one right behind Hubert because I finished it. So, you guys, I like this book, too. This I give this one four stars. All right, guys, your girl is out.